Okay, so this is what it looks like when the plywood is all cut out in jigsaw style pieces and fits in the right place. It goes right up nice and tight to the bow. And then these are all nice and tight following the contour of the, the hull. Nice and tight along there. A little tiny piece I cut in for right there, but it seems to fit okay. And I've got another one to cut for there. And then it's tight all the way along. So, a couple of tips for you. Obviously, you want to cut this portal before you install the floor. You want to make sure this portal exists because it's easy to cut now. It's hard to cut after the, the plywood's been put down. So what I did was I basically cut the back piece of plywood, dropped it in place without cutting this piece right here, dropped it in place, and because I'm actually sitting in the portal right now. Here, I'll back up. So, cut it in place, and this piece of plywood used to come straight across there, and instead of measuring and trying to figure it out, I just dropped the piece of plywood down and then took a pencil from underneath and marked on the bottom of the plywood. And uh, then I came and cut it out and dropped that piece in place, and it stays there. Now, this piece of plywood right here, it's one continuous U-shaped piece. Well, I cut it length and width dimensions, put it in place, made sure yeah, it's the right length and width. But to cut this portal right here, well, I, I marked it on this end and this end. So I put a mark there and there and measured from there to there. And I got a certain number of inches. So I went up here and measured in a certain number of inches and made a line like this and then did the same thing on the other side. So now I've got the, the dimension this way or the line this way that I need to cut. And then when I took it off, I measured the distance from this piece of plywood that's down here all the way to that opening and, and then I went back on this piece of plywood and marked, marked that line right there. So now I've got the rectangle, but I wanted it to be nice and smooth. So what I could have done is taken this piece of plywood that's already cut and, and caught and traced this curvature on that piece, but instead what I did, I could have done that, but anyway, didn't think of it till now, I took a piece of paper and cut it out the shape of that right there and then uh, marked it and in fact even smarter now that i'm looking at it i could have taken this piece that i'd cut out and just used it as a template on that end so anyway that's how i cut the portal <coughs> and this plywood is all three quarter inch pressure treated um it's uh the the boat the floor was really quite good it was just soft in one spot the size of maybe twice the size of a cigarette package and I could have just cut that one piece out and, uh, you know, patched it at the right thickness of board that used to be, or plywood that used to be there, and then not, not patched over the whole thing. But, um, I don't know, it was, uh, there were a couple of spots that I wondered if, you know, down the road, is that going to give trouble? Now, this is an old boat, and it's not worth taking the seats out and, and the whole consoles out and doing that kind of a repair job. It's also not worth repairing the stringers underneath, but they all seem generally pretty good. Um, if there was any doubt about the strength of the floor beforehand, uh, it's gone now. It, and then this plywood is so rigid, I don't even have it screwed down yet. And it just feels like concrete. So a uh, couple of tips though. You do want to screw it down because if you don't screw it down, it will flap. You know, if you hit a bump or whatever in the waves, if you hit a wave, the, the plywood will, will flap and be really annoying for the passengers. And uh, so you want to screw it down. I'd even say uh, construction adhesive might be a good idea too. Um, and so if you're going to screw into the piece of plywood below it, that's great. But key piece, if you have an inboard fuel tank, um, which it is, it's an inboard tank under, the, that's the oil can, but uh, underneath that is the fuel tank. And the fuel tank comes out in this area. Now I didn't know how far it went. So before I put this piece of plywood down, I drilled a couple of test holes in various places. Now I just drill through the plywood. Once I feel it break through the plywood, then I'd stop drilling. And then I'd take a screwdriver and stick it down and tink, and I could feel the aluminum or hear the aluminum tank down there. And the tank came out surprisingly far. So uh, it's over quite an area that I, I definitely do want to screw the floor down in that area. So what I'm going to do is simply use screws that are only as long as the three quarter inch plywood plus the uh, the uh, 5 8 plywood that's underneath it. 
And um, when I do that, I know well, I can screw this floor down, but I won't damage the tank because the screws won't go down that deep. So um, the other thing to consider too is this hull, uh, it, it actually was flat and then it steps up along the edges. Steps up the last four inches, steps up. So that's actually a uh, fiberglass hull that you see there. And I'm not going to cover it with the, um, with the plywood. The plywood actually is going to come up right to the edge. And what I did is took a, an electric planer on the other side, not the side that's up, but the side that's facing down right now and beveled that plywood so it's on an angle like this the whole way along. So even though the hull rises up, well, at an angle like this, the plywood is, is shaved to that, to that same angle on the bottom side. So you won't know that after it's installed. It'll look like just one continuous piece of flooring. And it took a while to bevel it to be, you know, almost exactly what was there. Um, but it, uh, it looks pretty good now. The other thing to keep in mind here is this is an old boat. Um, this is not a, a dining room table or the hood of a show car. This is an old boat and we're trying to resurrect this thing and get some more life out of it. And um, I guess, you know, uh, uh, there will be some viewers that might say, well, laminating two pieces of plywood is going to promote, you know, moisture between the two layers or uh, really it should be taken apart and the stringers redone. Usually people don't do it on a boat this age, they'll just throw it away because doing the stringers is, uh, is such a major, a major undertaking. And um, really, I, this, with three quarter inch plywood on the deck, it's like it's walking like on concrete. Uh, the other thing to consider too is, you know, let's, let's pretend there was a soft spot in this area right here. And let's say it was the size of a dinner plate. Well, uh, after you've put three quarter inch plywood over the whole thing, and screwed it down you know in, in the entire area um, that's that soft spot is not going to shake or not going to be soft anymore because think of this there's the portal that's open right you've got like 14 inches wide there that's open but that little guy right there covers that portal and you walk on it and never really notice it being uh, a soft spot at all so i'm very uh, hopeful and uh and I believe that this three quarter inch plywood will more than do it. And also, if you look at the amount of weight that's added, um, I'm probably adding a hundred, maybe, maybe 110 pounds to the weight of this boat by adding the additional plywood rather than stripping off the old plywood. Well, the boat weighs like 2000 pounds. So I know every pound counts, but in this case, uh, really, I, I'm maybe it even weighs more than that. I don't know. Um, but the amount of extra weight added by this plywood is not worrying me in the least. So that's uh, that's how it looks before I screwed it down. Okay, well, here's all the wooden floor screwed down. I screwed it about every six inches or so. And uh, I, used, I used screws that were long enough to go through the three quarter inch plywood and the five eighths plywood underneath that, the original stuff but um, not enough to go any deeper than that. And uh, this floor is plenty strong.